Modern technology. How blessed are we to have the convenience of gadgets and appliances to make our lives a little bit easier. We can do things faster, communicate better, so that in our spare time, we can sit around and binge watch our favorite shows. No, wait, that can't be right. I have to admit, it is really nice to have the convenience of technology in our everyday lives. While it feels like we've increased our efficiency, I wonder if we have actually gotten more time back. And if so, how are we spending that time? And don't get me wrong, I'm all for progress. Self-driving cars, groceries delivered right to our doors, ordering whatever we want, whenever we want, with a touch of a button. It's almost like magic. How amazing that technology can accommodate those who need that extra help, but I've always wondered if I truly need that much convenience in my life, and am I willing to work more to afford that life of luxury and comfort? I know, I'm grateful to even have this choice, but what I'm trying to say is that there are some things in life that just cannot be rushed, and sometimes the technology that's supposed to be helping our lives feels like it's taken away something much more valuable from us. This is why the slow living movement really opened my eyes. I realized that my idea of luxury isn't to live a comfortable life where things are just done for me. I want to be fully present for every moment, even if it takes more time and effort. Because imagine how dull and meaningless life would be if we could just outsource everything. So here are some slow living habits that I practice that might be more inefficient, but provide more value and meaning into my life. For me, I look forward to my weekly trip to the farmer's market. It's not about picking out the produce for the week or getting good deals on flowers, but it's about the experience of it all. Seeing artists and their craft, listening to all the interesting stories, being inspired by how passionate people are about their plants, banana bread. While it's not the most efficient way of doing groceries, it's all about the experience, and that to me counts for something. Instead of rushing through the things that we must do, like our daily chores, errands we have to run, our routines. I hope that we never forget to enjoy the experience because these simple moments in between the big ones are what make up majority of our days. I have to admit, I used to be the person who would speed up the audio on my audiobook. I thought that reading meant finishing the book from front to back, but then I just ended up with a long list of books I would completely forget the moment I finished it. I mean, we all seek instant gratification, and I'm also guilty of this. But no matter how fast I want to jump to the conclusion, I learned that some things take time for us to fully understand, to grasp the meaning, and for us to grow. Creating a piece of art, a sincere conversation with a friend, learning something new, healing from a past. This is something we simply cannot press fast forward on. Sometimes it's not even about the ending, but the process itself. So I decided it's better to dive deep while I can and give myself all the time I need without even thinking about the finish line. I completely understand that efficiency is crucial for busy people, but solely depending on it can sometimes take the meaning out of the things that we do. I used to enjoy looking for the right gift for the person that I loved and seeing their face light up with joy, but life got busy, so it was much easier just to buy a gift than to take the time to make something or write a heartfelt letter. That's when the idea of ordering something online and having it delivered right to their door sounded like a great idea. 
but it never had the same sentiment. And when did relationships get so transactional? I mean, was I too busy for the people that I loved? And if so, what was I valuing more? Something that takes time, effort, and heart cannot be replicated or substituted. And I decided I never want to be too busy to give a piece of myself to the people that I love. Even with all the technological advancements, the greatest gifts that we can still give to each other is our time, attention, and our love. When living a fast-paced life, relaxing feels like coming to a sudden stop on a running treadmill. With that free time, we could be working on our next project, planning our next move, or catch up on whatever we're falling behind on. But I've always wondered, how long is that sustainable for until we hit a wall and feel burnout? Taking the time to relax and rest cannot be rushed. It's not a sign of weakness nor laziness, but vital for our well-being. We can schedule a spa day, listen to a meditation app, buy all the tools to help us relax, but if we cannot learn to slow down our minds and give ourselves some breathing space, there'd be no point of just going through the motion. My favorite way to relax is reading my book on my balcony, taking the time to do my nightly skincare routine, watching my favorite YouTube videos while doing my dishes, or scheduling a long nap on a random Sunday. It doesn't take much, but it's more about giving myself the permission to take the time to truly relax and recharge. Any machine can probably perform a task more accurately and efficiently than we can, but is perfectionism really the ultimate goal? Also, if we don't make any mistakes, how would we ever grow and mold into the better version of ourselves? I decided that I want my efforts to go into trying and becoming better along the way because I've always defined myself by my progress more than my accomplishments. I feel like the less I depend on technology, the more that I depend on myself. Before GPS, how did I ever travel? Before having all the recipes at my fingertips, how did I ever cook? Before I had my phone, how did I do anything? Sure, it's nice to have the help sometimes, but I noticed that while technology can add comfort and luxury into our lives, it cannot truly replace the fundamental things in life. Society might think that I'm being inefficient or that I'm not keeping up with the modern times. But to me, there are things in life worth taking time for. There's more to life than just being efficient and getting things done. There's more to me than just being a productive machine. My whole life, I've been rushing from one task to the next, but I've ended up exactly where I'm supposed to be. Not a single day ahead or a single day behind. I don't care about finishing 50 books at the end of the year or seeing how much I can check off in my to-do list in a day because in the bigger picture, what value does that really bring into my life? Instead, I want to be able to check in with myself at the end of the day, know that I still find purpose in the work that I do. I want to know that I helped someone or I felt inspired in some way. And if all fails, that I at least had some fun along the way. These are the values I want to live my life by, and sometimes it requires me to take the longer path, and that's okay.